everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. If you're buying any malted milk this week, I think you owe it to yourself and your family to make a very careful selection. There are products sold on the market today as malted milk which are extremely inferior articles. Don't be misled by outward appearance and price. The test of a good malted milk lies in its flavor and in the results that it gives. Now you can be sure of Horlicks, the original. Here's the reason. For one thing, Horlicks uses only full cream milk. That's important to remember, because many imitations use nothing but skim milk in their preparation. Again, Horlicks uses only choicest wheat and their own malt barley, prepared under the supervision of experts, instead of the inferior malt powder, cocoa, and ordinary sugar that many imitations contain. Last but not least, the ingredients in Horlicks are not just mixed up together by mechanical means only. They are specially processed to preserve the minerals and vitamins and flavor. So, be sure it's Horlicks you buy, and you'll be sure it's the best. Your druggist has it, you know, in both natural and chocolate flavors, whichever you prefer. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, Lemon Abner have a crew of carpenters busy remodeling the old cotton warehouse, which they plan to use as their new theater. They purchased a second-hand moving picture projector from the theater over at the county seat. And Cedric Weehunt, the future operator, is being sent there to learn how to operate the machine. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find Abner down at the Jotham Down store. Lum has just returned from getting Cedric started on his journey. Listen. Well, come in, Lum, come in. Yeah, I got Cedric started off all right. You did? Yeah, I never seen a boy so tickled in my life. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he rode into the county seat with the mail carrier, you know. Oh. These folks are all over there to tell him goodbye. Your mama stood there and waved goodbye to him first she could see him. Oh. Big tears run down her cheeks. <laughs> but he'd think he was going to war the way she carried on. Well, all me, he ain't going to be gone but a week. Well, it ain't but 20, 20 miles in there, no how. Oh. Uh, guess who come in on the, on the bus a while ago? Who that? Uh, Pauline Ushery from Conway. She come in. Well, for the land <laughs> sake, I'd love to see her. Oh, the first time I saw her in a long time. <laughs> oh. Well, I sure would love to see her. I want to tell a woman about it, too. She'd be good. Uh, she's more than likely to admit it with her. Yeah. Well, I just hope that uh, Cedric learns how to run that picture machine, Mom, if we're going to pay all his expenses while he's in there. Oh, he'll catch on to that all right. The uh, manager of the Lyric in there said he'd just let him stay right up there in the booth and watch that fella run that machine of there. Yeah, well, that's nice of him to let him have that way. Well, I had that right in the deal, you know. When I bought that picture machine from him, I told him he'd have to show someone how to run it. Yeah. Well, I still think that you're paying Cedric too much money, though, now. Too much money? Yes, sir. Just paying him the same price we was giving him to deliver groceries here in the store. Yeah, but now he, he gets to see the show free for nothing. Well, he's got to see the show if he's going to run the film, Fabner. He's got to look down there once in a while and see if he's got the picture on the screen straight. Well, yeah, but there weren't no use in giving passes to the whole family line. Oh, well, it ain't going to hurt nothing. His folks wouldn't come out to the show if they had to pay, no how, so we ain't losing nothing. Yeah, but you're just going to have that place over there full every night with folks that ain't paying nothing to get in. Started out, and said that you weren't going to give no passes to nobody. Well, I did say that. Yeah, you give Grandpappy Spears and all of his relations some, and Cedric and all of his family. Well, Grandpappy's a fine player, though. Yeah, but I was over there talking to them carpenters a while ago. They said you promised all them a pass if they'd rest that work for you. Did I tell them that? That's what they said. Yeah, it seemed like I did say something like that yesterday. But that'll just get it done and he's quicker at me. And Moe's Mooster tell me down at the barber shop that you give him one. Moe's Mo- Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to give him one. See, I rented them chairs from the lodge all over and he had charge of them. That's better than giving the whole lodge a pass. Mm. Just give one to Moe. Mm. That was sort of a bait I used on him. <laughs> yeah, and I know, but his wife and little Moses, they never had charge of him, too, did they? Well, no, but you can't give a man a pass and expect him to leave his family at home. 
Well, I don't know. Everybody I see, and ask them if they're coming to our show when we get it opened up, why they say, sure, they've got a pass. Hmm. It looks like to me we ain't going to have room for the cash customer. Oh, there's plenty of room over there. Now, don't you start worrying about that. We rented 200 chairs. Yeah. I know I ain't give out over 50 passes anyway. See, these folks that's getting in for nothing will be good advertisements for us. Advertisement. Yeah, we'll use them for decoys. <laughs> see, folks around town here will be sitting out on our front gallery every evening and see a big crowd going by their place and on their way to the show, you know, and first thing you know, they'd get up and follow them all. <laughs> yeah, more likely, they'll see so many going down there that they'll figure there won't be no setting room for them just not go. Oh, well, now, they ain't all going every night, Abner. Like the one I give the mail carrier for taking Cedric in the mina. He just spends every other night out here in time, maybe. Well, I'll be bad brand. Did you give him one, too? Yeah, but there ain't but three in his family, him and his wife and one children. They ain't going to take up much room. Well, I fine to, didn't it? Well, there ain't no use to complain about it now, Abner. They done give out. Can't go around asking them to give them back to us. What would Evelina think if I was to go over and tell her I'd have to have that pass back I'd give her? Evelina? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. Oh. I figured I may as well give her a pass. She'd be going to the show with me most of the time anyway, and I know I ain't going to walk up and buy no ticket for her from myself. Well, it looks like it. we may as well just put a big sign down there saying free show. Yeah, you want me to take up tickets, and there ain't going to be nobody to take them up from. Well, Abner, I can't run the show if you're going to be complaining about everything I do. We've got to decide on which one of us is boss and let him run things. Uh, decide on which one is boss. Yeah, and I got one of us in mind that I think it makes us a good man for a key. Yeah, and I got a pretty good idea who it is, too. Yeah, said so we agree on one thing, I never we? said nothing about agreeing on it. I just said I knowed who you had in mind. Hey, don't you think he'd make a good one? No, sir, I don't. I don't think you know the thing about running a picture show, and I ain't going to stand for it one minute, neither. All right, all right. That's the way you feel about it. Well, that's exactly the way I feel. Yeah, I can. We'll just have to let the other end have it then, but ain't but two of us, you know. Yeah, well, that's the extra time. Just let the other end have it then. <laughs> I just figured that you'd make a better man than I would, but if you don't want it, I will take it. Anything to be agreeable. Huh? You was the one I had in mind to run it, Abner, but if you've got your head set on me doing it, well, I'll just do the best I can with it. Well, I'll be dead blamed. But I don't want you butting in on every little thing I do now. Well, I ever learn to keep my big mouth shut. I reckon that'll be better anyway, though, especially if we call it uh, Lum's Leary. Uh, call it what? Lum's Leary. I-, I studied that up last night while I was laying there in bed thinking. Yeah, uh, you was asleep. Dreaming, if you think that's what we're going to call it. Well, see, I picked that up. I'm on account of Lum started with a L and Lyric started with a L. And it'll be easy for folks to recollect that way. Well, I'm in the first place. We wouldn't want to call it your nothing. And in the second place, that's the name of the picture show in uh, the county seat, Lyric. Well, what's wrong with that? Why, folks would get mixed up. Somebody'd say, let's go to the show at the Lyric while they might go clean into the county seat. All right, then. What do you want to call it? I'll try my best to get along with you. Well, I don't know. It's loud we'd call it the Pine Ridge Picture Show. Not like it. Pine Ridge Picture Show? Oh, uh, Peabody and Edwards Picture Show. They don't call them picture shows, Abner. What do they call them? Why, you've got to have a name that don't mean nothing. Or that is, it ain't got nothing to do with the picture show. Like Majestic, Princess, and Orphan. Orphan? Yeah, didn't you never hear of an orphan spirit? I'm scared of Austin's home. Well, there's theaters, too. I went to one when I was in Kansas City last week. And there's some they call Palace. Palace? Yeah. Peabody's Palace. Uh, that makes now, just goodness. stop right where you're at, Adam. I know what you're going to say. Uh-huh. Might be best for us just not to have neither one of our names up there. Up where? On the big electric sign in front. What big electric sign? Wait a minute, here comes the big color. Yeah, I see him, but what about that big electric sign? Well, that's the first I'd hear to that. Yeah, I just figured we ought to have one. My now old picture shows he's got them. Well, I don't see no use in it, Mom, spending all that money. There won't be but one show in town. Everybody know where it's at. They must up at that time of night to be at the show, and they must ain't to be asleep to where they couldn't well, see it now. Uh, howdy, Dick, come in. Uh, howdy, howdy. 
I just uh, came by the warehouse over. It looks like they about got that new floor finished. Yeah, he said they would have it done by night. How are you, Edna? Uh, all out, I reckon, Dave. Sit down. Yeah, yeah. Me and Abner was just sitting here trying to decide on a name for our new show. Oh, haven't you picked out a name for it yet? No, we can't seem to find one that both of us agree on. Well, you want to get a good name for it, all right, huh? Yeah, I thought about calling it Roxy, but somebody's beat us to that name. Yeah, and you ought to have something different. So many of them named Lyric and Queen and Princess and yeah. like that. Of course, we want a name that's going to sound like a picture show, though. Yeah, sure. Well, sir, I passed a building while I was there in Kansas City. Looked a uh, heap like a picture show building, but I never went inside. But I liked the name of that about as well as anything I saw. Had a sign out in front said the Planetarium. Doggy, that is a good sounding name, all right. Yeah, I thought so. Planetarium? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to give you a picture show a name like that. <laughs> well, what's the matter with it? Why, Planetarium is a place where they study the solar system, the stars, and the planets. Place where they do what? A place where folks can go in and look at the stars. Well, I granny, that's just what we want then. That's the very name we're looking for. Uh-huh. Yeah, they can come in our place to look at the movie stars. <laughs> Hi, Granny, that's just what we'll call it, the Pine Ridge Planetarium. I'm sure proud you explained that to us. Here, Dick, here, take these. I'll give you passes for your whole family, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, if Lum keeps this up, the Pine Ridge Planetarium is going to do a big business with free admissions. We still have a minute or so left, folks. Let's listen to what Mr. M.C. Wood, our Phillipsburg candidate, says in a recent letter to Lum and Abner. For a long time, I've been an ardent admirer of your product, Harlot's Malted Milk. I always say that it saved the life of my two twin daughters. Here's the story. For months, it seemed they wouldn't live. After six months of anxious worry in which my wife and I tried food after food, we put them on Harlot's Malted Milk. They seem to take the Horlicks just like a duck takes the water, beginning to gain immediately. They're two years old now, fine, strong, healthy girls, and are never without their Horlicks. I know that lots of mothers would be interested in Horlicks if they only knew its value. Well, thank you, Mr. Wood. Just as you say, if only all mothers knew the value of Horlicks malted milk in infant feeding, there would certainly be that many more healthy babies. Horlicks, you know, is sold at all druggists. This is Carlton Picker, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all good night and good night.